The three wise men, they went about asking, where is he who is born to be the king? The king of his domain, the king. Where is he, the three wise? When the newborn baby Jesus is born, where is he? Where is he? So that word where signifies, it is not only, does it indicate and signify that historical place. Huh? Bethlehem, Bethlehem in Jerusalem. Hmm? Now the word Jerusalem means peace also. It means peace. So, now we'll come to that. Now here, that where indicates that place where you two also could be. Huh? Could be born the Son of God. You two also. You two also. Could be in the image of God. Hmm? Image of God. Well, you could also be in the imageless image of God. So the answer is very simple. The image is God has no images. Therefore, what should you do? You also, correspondingly, have no images of any order. When you have no images of any order, whether it be an image or whatever image it could be, don't have any image of any order, be the image of the sun or the moon or the image of a light hmm? or the image of a symbol image of a symbol and words and letters are also symbols so no images of any order when you have no images of any order and when does it transpire when you have no thinking process. When your mind becomes, gets into a state of no thought. When you are in a total no thought state, a total shutdown has taken place. Total shutdown. And in that total shutdown, there are no images. No forms. No words. No language. No letters. None of that is there. Because when you formulate thoughts, they are letters made up of words and letters. None of that is there. So in that state, remain there. So when you are able to be in that state, that imageless state, you are automatically in the image of God. Automatically. And then what should you do? Having arrived at that point, that is where you should be. Be in that imageless state. That's where you, where you should be. <laughs> in that imageless state. And then, having arrived there, sustain it. Sustain it. As you keep on, so your work is to sustain it. As long as you can. So, this is your work. Because God has already made you in His image. So, your job is only to arrive there and to sustain it. That's all that you have to do. No more than that. So, therefore, in order to do that, what should you do? Huh? So, they may insist. The three wise men went seeking for Jesus hmm, in Bethlehem in Jerusalem. And the word Jerusalem means peace. Peace. So here also, when you are at peace, when you are at peace, you have arrived at your destination. So you should be at peace. So when you are at peace, there is no disturbance, there is no discord, 
and you are maintaining that silent awareness, sustain it, keep it, keep it going. When you have, so you have arrived there. And now all that you have to do is sus maintain it, sustain it, be there. And that is the most profound activity. Of course, to sustain it, you need an effort. You need an effort. The will must be there. The will in you must be there, which will enable you to sustain it. So you can't. So you need a good will or a strong will or a powerful will to sustain, to maintain it. Even if you want to scale a mountain, you need the will to climb up, to surmount it, and step by step. So here also you need the will to apply yourself. To will to apply yourself. In fact, the Dominicans and the Franciscans, Franciscan monks in the olden days, they were questioning which is better, which is superior, whether the will or the intellect. The Franciscans said, it's the will. And the Dominicans said it's the intellect. You need both. In fact, you need both. And here the intellect means to arrive at this, to be in this no, no thought state, be in the image. To arrive in this imaginal state. For this you require the intellect. The intellect which brings, which has brought about which has led you with an understanding. And the will is also necessary to sustain it, to maintain it. Now, what is this intellect that we are talking about, which is necessary for it? Huh? Now, I will try to explain this in another way. In another way. What this is, this, this state, because it has been now mentioned, even in the Bhagavad Gita, it says very clearly, having established your mind in the Atma, Atma Samstam Manaha Kritva, Na Kinchita Pichintayet, having established your mind in this Atman, in, this, in your true self, which is your divine nature, then thereafter, do not think, na kinchita api chintaye, do not think of anything. Hmm? That is an injunction, do not think of anything. So now here, how is it that this mind of yours, when it is in a state of silence, how it has synchronized itself? with the imageless image of God, with the imageless image of God. Hmm? Now, we come to a little bit of understanding via the definition for meditation. Very definition. It is the non-perception of the non-self. Non-perception of the non-self is meditation or nididhyasana according to the Advaita Hindu non-dualistic tradition. Non-perception of the non-self which is equal to now the definition is in double negatives. It is equal to perception of the self. Non-perception of the non-self. Now let's go one step further. What is the perception that you are having now? Are you not having the perception of the non-self? In your big normal day-to-day -day life, you are having the perception of the non-self. Huh? The non-self is all what you are what? Huh? 
So the world is outside, the outside world, you are not the world. Then as far as the mind is concerned, the mental world, all that is part of the non-self. Hmm? This is what you are aware of. So your current perception, current awareness is perception of the non-self. So instead of the perception of the non-self, you add one more word and say non-perception of the non-self. Got the idea? As simple as that. Non-perception of the non-self. And when does, where does it, when does it happen? When you naturally forget the world. Forget the mental world. Automatically it has taken place. Hmm? When, when this has happened, then automatically it becomes perception of the self. Of the self. Now, we will extend this explanation a little further. It is said, the state of meditation, in the state of meditation, you are supposed to maintain the Brahma Kara Vritti. Technical, these are, these are technical words. Brahma Kara Vritti. So, Brahman is the name in the Hindu tradition given for the divine, for your true self. Akara Vritti. So, what has happened is, Akara means form. Form means formless form of Brahman. Formless form of Brahman. And Vritti means your mind has trans transformed itself into the formless form of Brahman. The formless, your mind transforms itself into the formless form of Brahman. All these years, this mind of yours had transformed itself into a form. The form of this glass, when it saw the glass, the form of the flower, when it saw the flower, the form of a picture, when it saw the picture. Every time it saw something, your mind automatically got transformed into the form of that perception. Supposing you have no forms, what, ha what happens? Tell me. Supposing you perceive no forms in your mind, tell me. Isn't it in a formless state? Right, it's in a formless state. So when it is in a formless state, this mind of yours has automatically synchronized with the idea that was given to you about your divine nature. About Brahman. Huh? The imageless, imageless image, the formless form of the divine. Hmm? Automatically, it has synchronized itself with that, your mind, correspondingly. So now it is in that state. Hmm? For this state, wherein your mind is uh, in a formless state, which is, and in that formless state, it has become unmodified and is one naturally with the, with your divine nature, with your divine nature. And this is what is referred to in Vedanta methodology or terminology as Brahma Kara Vritti. As Brahma Kara Vritti. The mind assuming the formless form of the divine. Hmm? Through this understanding you have arrived at it. And it's very simple. Automatically, whenever you keep quiet and when you maintain that state of silent awareness, automatically it has got into that state. Get got into that state. Now when you are in that particular state, the next thing that you have to do is maintain it. Maintain it. Maintain this state. So, in order to maintain this state, you need the will. You need the will. And so, 
on one side you have the intellect or the mind of yours which has now automatically got into this corresponding state of the Atman of the Atman and then being in that state you maintain it this state of affairs could I use another word for it very simple very uncomplicated another word for it is non-dual awareness see the whole thing this is called non-dual awareness because there is no duality there I and you and this is the duality I and the universe this is the duality this duality has disappeared, has gone away. Has gone away. So when this duality is no more present, then it is non-dual awareness. 